Poor people of Reddit, what do you wish wealthy people would understand? The pressure of living to the next paycheck, with no safety net if anything unexpected happens. Money might not buy happiness debatable but it buys security and good luck being happy without that. Poor people don't have the freedom to take chances. Being poor is so expensive. The stress of constantly just managing wears you out. People who aren't rich want the same things for their kids that the wealthy want for them. Not being able to truly take care of your health. That affordability changes your priorities a lot. The one I run into is folks who can't afford a repair on a car and the more well-off people being befuddled why they'd risk it. I've had to have the conversation about affordability more than I'd like. Customers sometimes decline break service because they'd rather pay rent and roll the dice hoping to get by a little longer, not because they are all just cheap. A quick windfall gets spent quickly because there's always something you need but have been holding off on. A short disaster will incur debt that takes far longer to pay off. Such is life with marginal income. Being poor isn't a result of being lazy. My parents work their asses off and continue to do so. They work harder than anyone I know but they're still poor. That it is expensive AF to be poor. The guilt that comes with being poor. That you're doing everything in your power and it's still not enough, yet everyone tells you that if you just work hard enough you'll get enough money. It isn't true. Hard work in low socioeconomic jobs results in more work and being kept in the same position because no one else can do as much as you in that position. No pay rise either because somehow despite doing more you're also just doing the same job as everyone else. Having to walk somewhere because you don't even have money for public transit. I worked as a waitress and broke my leg. I had to live on next to nothing for six weeks. To get my very limited groceries, I got my crutches out and managed the 30-minute round trip to the store and back. It's not as easy to change your situation as everyone makes it out to be, it's so often not about bad choices bad with money. That being too poor to afford their third trip overseas for the year is not the same as having to live off the same two vegetables for a fortnight. When they say, if you can't afford to pay cash you can't afford it. Yeah, well try going without a fridge, a water heater and AC in Florida, no less. That's the last three things I had to put on a credit card. Not exactly poor now, but been there. There is a poor tax. You pay out a bunch you can't afford to deal with the fact you can't afford normal shit. The story of the boots is very real you pay a hell of a lot more over time because you can't afford the good shit now, so you have to buy it over and over. Interest when you buy on time is a lot more. You have to pay a lot of fees because you have to decide what to pay this month. Etc. They love the phrase we have the same 24 hours. Yeah, but I don't have someone to do my laundry for me, make my dinner, clean my house. I'd just like for folks to glimpse at what it's like to need medical care and not be able to access it. Navigating free clinics and community health centers with all the administrative obstacles and wait lists and poor service. Having minimal or no preventative care as you age. God help you if you need mental health services. Remember when Celia on Leeds went from a private drug rehab to a publicly funded one? We're not jealous of your material possessions, we're jealous of the stability and security money brings. You can't invest your savings in stocks or whatever when you have no savings. And, no, the reason we don't have savings isn't because of fucking avocado toast. 90 of rags and riches stories are fake. A strong middle class greatly expands the economy, increasing their wealth squeezing us all is counterproductive. Not having minor and major inconveniences makes you out of touch with us and how a majority of people live. We are doing the best we can with what we have. Oftentimes those choices seem crazy, wrong, unthinkable. But we are just choosing the best out of the worst each time and trying to deal with it all. It's enormously stressful. My friend told me that houses were being built in the city and they're going to be ready in a year or so with only a 30k down payment. I have 35k in student loan debt and virtually no savings. Where do you think I'm finding 30k for a down payment on a house in the next year? Five figure purchases payments are not something that most people can just make happen. Your materialism means absolutely nothing to me. 
I am totally unimpressed by your fancy cars, expensive clothes, and your big mansions. It is overly simplistic but I always use the toilet paper example. When it is on sale people with money can stock up. Poor people cannot do that, they have to buy what they can when they need it. Being poor is expensive. Most people would in fact prefer to have a good, steady job than to be on welfare. Also I'd love for wealthy people to understand that being on welfare and other programs isn't just sitting on your ass all day. The paperwork alone is fucking obnoxious, you have to go through interviews, and you have to keep doing it over and over again forever. And sometimes you used your last dollar to take the bus to DSHS but they're too busy to see you that day, so not only do you not have your food stamps but you also have no money to go home or money to come back tomorrow. We have choice, but we don't get the same options. That they will never understand the constant monotonous stress that being poor comes with. Every day is a worry. Which bill should I pay and which bill should I pay a late payment for? I don't get to go on vacation ever. I don't make frivolous payments on items I don't need. And finally they will never understand that the current economic system that they support is specifically designed to keep poor and working class people down. That is could give zero FKS about y'all's expensive things, we barely can pay for food here. Your money saving tips are useless. The price of bread and milk and the essential s in life. If I have to pay taxes, you do too. A wealthy person's worst case scenario is a poor person's best case scenario. I have distant family who are multimillionaires, and they have anxiety attacks thinking about flying coach or sending their kids to public school. It's unreal. That poor people kill themselves over debts that might seem trivial or insignificant to them. The biggest thing I think most people don't understand is the pure stress of being poor. Spending most of your waking hours trying to work out how you'll pay your bills and manage to eat. Sometimes you either have to go hungry for a day or two as in not eating at all just so your heat internet doesn't get cut off. They can turn off your electricity if you don't pay. Desperation. Getting to a point that you will do anything to be able to feed yourself or your child, even if it means selling your possessions, or your body. Can't pull yourself up by the boot strings if you don't have boots. Not what I would consider poor anymore, but as a past rural poor, the stress of being one car breakdown away from homelessness takes years off of your life. We'd work better jobs if we could but factors other than hard work are at play. Sometimes reasons aren't excuses, they're actual reasons. We aren't all getting Starbucks every single morning. Stop trying to sell us on that business-making model for saving us. 